volume up. Now it's time to fix it. Okay, this is the beautiful guitar that we'll be working on. Kind of a weird thing. The volume pot, as you heard, was scratchy, so let's get into it. Never do this this way. See? No scratches. Let's take the back plate off. Okay, looky in there. Okay. First thing you're going to do is take pictures. Always, always, always take pictures of what you're wiring so you do not forget what you're doing. Take this guy loose. Back into the open where we can see you. Okay. So now let's cover up the part. Here because I don't want to get solder on the guitar. And we're going to de solder these bad boys. Here's that my soldering iron will not get hot enough to melt the solder they used. Plan B. Too tiny for my strippers. These all together. There we go. Okay, flux. Don't even bother if you don't have flux, because you will hate yourself. One braced wire. Ah ha ha. Seems to be a lot smarter if I just used a little guy like this to hold things for me so I can feed solder into it proper like, but you know. Yeah. Alrighty. In other news, the new shaft is slightly bigger than the old one, so I am going to have to wallow out or drill out the hole in the guitar body just a little bit to accommodate, because these pots, to order them from PRS, is, they're only like five bucks a piece, but they have a twenty dollar minimum, plus shipping, plus all sorts of stupid, so, not doing that. Okay, so after some very gentle drilling, Too bad. It'll all be covered up by the washer. We have a pot that actually fits in the hole now. Perfect. Now, 
jump back to some wiring. But on this one, there's a little jumper between here and here. We need to do that. So that's going to be one of the first things we do. Shall return. Okay, same process. I'm going to give this a little glaze first. I'll do that so I don't make a mess here. We will hold on to that guy and give it a little, a little love. Oops. I almost forgot my own advice. Flux. He who solders without flux has a very tedious time of it. stay stuck and not give us any hassles. What I'm going to do just do that so that we like it worked at all. Let's see. Huh. Actually, it is pretty stuck. Okay. Better than I thought. If you can see what we've done here. Hopefully the autofocus is working. I've never used it before in this camera. Which one first? Let's try the furthest away from me first. So I think it's going to be the biggest pain in the butt. See how that actually looks. Did that hold up? Oh wow. That's actually a pretty good solder. Come on, focus baby. Focus. Focus. There you go. So we've got the little jumper. And then we've got all of those leads right there. So now we're just gonna move closer towards me and just one by one get them done. And then we will uh, slap it in and be done. It's really not that big of a process. It takes a few minutes, especially if you're shaky like me. But hey. make this work. I am some sort of electrical genius. Let's see if I can do this. Perfect. Alright. Just give it a little love. Okay, that does not look like it's going to have any issues. So here. Alright, see, there we are, all soldered up. Got a resistor in place. Got all of the wires right where they're supposed to be. No shorts that I can see. Everything looks marvelous. 
time to actually physically install it in the guitar. Do a quick test run. And, uh, be what the? Uh -oh. Where do you go? Pretty sure that's a ground. And this is why we take pictures. Go. Okay, I made a boo-boo. I was supposed to solder all of these to here, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Hopefully it doesn't introduce any ground hum or, anything, or ground loops or anything weird like that that cause problems. I'm just going to try it. If it does cause problems, I will re-solder it <laughs> the way I should have done it in the first place. See, and that's why you take pictures, and then I still didn't look at the pictures, because I'm a genius. So... Welcome to my world. This lovely thing here. Oh shoot. Oh. Is that actually decent? Here? That is what we've got going on at the moment. So all the connections are the same except for Everything was connected here, and now some of it's connected here, so hopefully that doesn't cause any weird issues. We'll test it and find out. the tin towards the upward position, and... Ah. What the? What the? What in the... Well, sunny beaches, that ain't supposed to happen. Second thought, everything goes wrong today. Yay me! Apart. So I'm going to bend them back in place. Plug it in and see how awesome it is. Alright, so I've got the noise gate turned off and listen. No crackle.
we learn from this? Even when stuff goes way wrong, no big deal. Keep on plugging, you get it fixed. It's not a big deal. You can find wiring schematics online if you get into a really big pickle. Otherwise, sweet!